Hey, how you doing? This is Kitch, and you are watching me play Factorio. I did a little bit of number running, uh, and um, if we did the the twenty four beacon, twelve beacon setup, uh, twenty four module setup instead of the eight beacon or sixteen module setup, uh, we'd end up saving about nine of these machines. Uh, we'll just trim one off every now and then. Uh, like I think we could trim off one of the green circuits and one of the um, copper wire. And uh, we're wrong on one of these, and I don't remember which one it is. Um, I think it may be this one. I think we actually need an extra one of those. Uh, but in, anyway, uh, to go about and doing that, we could get rid of nine of these machines. And that would save a little bit, but we're not going to save anything on belts or the amount of items. It's just the number of machines. And I didn't run with it too much to, to try to figure out if we were actually... How many more beacons and how many more modules we would need in order to uh, lose those couple of assembly machines? Uh, but I don't know. I'm 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 good with this setup down here. Uh, if if this goes really quick and really smoothly and works the first time, uh, perhaps we can try it with both and just kind of compare. Uh, we got nothing but time, right? <laughs> Um, all right, there were a lot of good suggestions on um, on this setup and uh, different ways that we could change this and still accomplish the same thing. And uh, I want to do that. Um, luckily, uh, you all pretty much said the same thing or, or very, 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 very few variations on that theme. Um, so that makes it easy for me. I don't have to sort through all those things. Uh, I hear you loud and clear. Uh, so let's go ahead. We'll get the intro rolled. And uh, we'll make some changes to this setup down here. All right, so just sort of to review here, uh, the whole purpose of this circuit network is to keep, uh, to control the amount of items that we have on the belt. Um, like, for example, gears. Uh, if we wanted to control the amount of gears that are on the belt, we need to read the amount of gears that are on the belt and then subtract the amount of gears that we're taking off of the belt in other areas. And we do that via this network up here, up top, the green and red wires uh, that feed into one of these counters and a subtractor. Um, all this red network here is the subtracting network. The green network here is the adding network. And uh, then I had the brilliant idea to run this separate network down here. It's another red network, but it is not connected to this one. So it's a separate network. Um, and the idea is I wanted to have like a control center here where I can set the requests for the whole factory. Uh, how many gears we want to produce for the whole factory, not individually per machine, but just at one spot right here from this constant combinator. And... Um, I, I came in, I did this weird little thing here. I'm <laughs> trying to make it generic as possible. Try to make it uh, as l at least amount of error prone, as copyable, as generic as possible. And um, while I think this will work, um, it's not, it's not as good as I would like. <laughs> so, um, and, uh, yeah, nobody seemed really too wild about, about it. <laughs> and, um, I'm, I'm less and less wild about it as I think about it. So, uh, we're just going to remove those and, uh, we're going to, uh, hook this red network directly up to these inserters, as opposed to going through that signal converter. And, um, that will, be what we do there. Um, now on this end, uh, what we need to do is let's move this uh, constant combinator up here because uh, it's kind of like uh, conflicting visually with that power pole right there. Uh, let's flip it under side and we're going to take, um, we're basically just going to copy that right there. Uh, each signal, we're going to multiply it by negative one and send it out on the line. Uh, we can now hook up this constant combinator to that combinator and this one to our secondary red network. Now what that's gonna do, uh, we have our request coming in here. It's gonna take that, multiply it by negative one, and then send that out on the secondary. So you see we have a signal of negative 50 iron gear wheels right now. Um, if you wanted, uh, you could take out this constant combinator and uh, we could instead just request negative 50. <laughs> that would work as well. 
Uh, but, you know, Combinators are cheap. Uh, we're, we're in the late game now. We're making them in the mall. They're they're cheap. And we just saved a whole bunch of them by removing them from, the, uh, from this area. Uh, from every single machine. Um, so, okay, that network's still going to come down right here. Um, that's going to come in, and it's going to hit all of these inserters. And it's going to come all the way up to this inserter. I don't know if you can see. It's kind of hard to see with my almost invisible electric wires mod. Uh, but it comes all the way up to this, and then it stops. So even though we have the red network up here that's connected to all these inserters, and it's connected to this line, these two red networks still do not meet. Um, so we're getting the negative signal that's coming from here on the red network that's hitting all these inserters. And then we're getting the green signal that's coming here that is the count of all the gears that we've put out onto the network. Uh, that's our total. And that's coming into all these inserters. So if we have 50 gears out on the line, this is going to read 50 coming in on the green network. And we're going to have the negative 50 coming in on the red network. And uh, that's going to mean they're going to cancel out and gears are going to be zero. So if we set this to gears less than zero, you're active while gears are less than zero. And set those all the way around. Um, that is going to be generic and uh, will work no matter what we set here. So if we set it uh, to 600 then that means that there's going to be a negative 600 gear signal coming through. And uh, these guys are going to work until there's 600 in, in the stock here for that to, to cancel out. And then once that cancels out, uh, that will turn these guys off. Um, now, it's not as generic um, in that whenever we set one of these machines up, we have to set the machine and then we have to be sure to set all these inserters and make sure they're all the same. And uh, one of the reasons I like this one is because that would be uh, one, two, three, four, five, six clicks where the other one would have been one, two clicks. So, um, it'll be fine, though. I think this is going to be um, easier to troubleshoot and diagnose later on, and that's not worth nothing. Um, okay, so let's uh, go ahead and cancel this out. Actually, let's set it something to something like fish right now. Uh, we'll set that to fish so that it will all be turned off. And uh, we want to turn that off as well. Uh, we're, we're, cause we're working on making our, our blueprint here. We want it to be, um, fairly generic. Uh, let's take this setup and, uh, copy it here. And that should move all those conditions. And then we just need to make sure that you are hooked up to that red network. All right, and uh, I think that's our blueprint. Um, I'm gonna copy this and I'm gonna paste it up here. Um, Cause I wanna fix this stuff. Okay, no, we want, we want all that gone. That goes to the end, those stop right there. Um, all right, and uh, let's see. We had a blue belt. Uh, we're out of blue belt. Uh, <laughs> that's one of the reasons I like Ghost Placer Express is you don't have to wait on these base bots to place everything. If you have them in your inventory, uh, you can just use it to uh, go through and fill in all that stuff if you're in a hurry, like I generally am. Okay, and the reason I wanted to move that up there is because I was having a little bit of a problem earlier with my blueprints. Yeah, it's doing it again. I don't know why. This is making this so long. It's it's got to be. It's got to be a mod. It's got to be a mod that's doing that. Is it all or is it just? Yeah, like see, this one only grabs like that much. Is it the beacon? 
No. Is it um, the assembly machine? Oh. Uh, okay. Getting somewhere. Is it just the assembly machine? No. Is it... Uh, is it the inserters? Eh? Something to do with the inserters. Yeah. Okay, one inserter is fine. Two inserters, though, and it causes that. I mean, I, it's got to be something to do with the circuits, right? Huh. I don't know. But, um, yeah, I mean, I guess we'll just have to deal with that uh, for now. And uh, I'll try to figure out what's going on with that. Uh, what mod is causing that conflict? It's probably mine. Um, Kitches, Sushi, uh, Sushi, Assembly, set up. Okay, and uh, let's see. Let's do fish on either side. And uh, we'll do um, assembly machine threes and uh, beacons. Okay, and uh, that will go right there in our inventory. And I tell you what, let's go ahead and make a blueprint book. And uh, let's see, did that make it? No, it did not. And uh, we'll go ahead and throw these guys in there because I'm getting quite a bit of uh, of blueprinterage going on here. Um, is that the... That is the mixer setup. It does not have the power poles, though. So let's just recycle this uh, where we're getting the power poles. Huh. It's doing it, too. Um, it's got to be it's got to be the red and green wire, right? Yeah, I think it's anything that has the red and green wire on it or any wire on it at all is causing it to flip out. And a single one won't do it because um, it doesn't have the the wire. It's something to do with the wire. Don't know what. We'll just take that beacon set up there, and we should be able to drop this in our inventory now. Uh, where did it go? There it is, right there. Uh, I'll call that the mixer. And uh, let's throw some fish on either side, and uh, we'll throw in some blue belts to signify that that's what that is. Uh, wrong book. It's that book. There we go. You're in there now. And uh, let's see. Then we've got this guy here. Uh, we'll want... I want to be careful to stay in between uh, those beacons. Actually, I guess it doesn't matter so much here since... Uh... Oh, really? Those will be right there and right there. Should be able to adjust these accordingly now.
All right, I think that works. Um, okay, we're gonna have the red network going along the bottom like that. And a red network going along the top like that. And a green network going along the top like that. And this green network will probably hook into that line at some point in time. All right, uh, let's see. Let's blueprint that. Set up, and uh, that will call that just an in. Um, and let's get some fishies on here. And um, belt and a splitter. That says end me. All right. Uh, very, very, very nice. All right. And I think I'm going to leave these down here uh, for now. And I want to think about a place where we can start building this guy. Um. We've got a nice big open area right here. Um, that looks good. Uh, we've also got a nice open area over here. I'm uh, I'm kind of thinking I'm kind of thinking this area up here for now. Or you know, we can just build it down here. Um, that's going to be fine. We're not going to be hooking it up. And uh, we have the the full bus right here that we can hook up iron and all this stuff to, should we need to. Uh, maybe that's the way we do that. Um, I like that. Let's let's do that. Um, I'm excited to be a part of that. Um, <laughs> we'll just build it down here. Sounds good. Um, okay, so um, I'm going to work right to left up here. I don't know why this is reversed. Uh, but we want to... Do this left to right, I believe. Um, and I think I want to start uh, with this guy right here on um, this end because we're going to want... Actually, you know what we're going to want? We're going to want two things coming in. Uh, can, we, can we account for that? Let's throw another one of these down here. Um, let's get rid of yeah, all the stuff. And uh, we don't want that. We want a... Uh, that would be a 7 to 5. Boy, that looks like it fits... Oh, it's pretty much exactly the same, except uh, one of them has one of the outputs um, probably fed into itself. I'm oh, sorry, I was I was distracted there by a uh, butterfly, as it were. Okay, seven to five. Um, that is going along that line right there. I think we'll want to continue that. Let's see, that should work there. Uh, and uh, we'll have um, actually, let's have you come in. Um, is that an actual input there? I think it is. Oh, um, hmm, <laughs> we can't fit that through there, um, hmm, all right, that's, that's okay, uh, we just need to move this one tile that way, and thanks to the magic of cut-paste, 
that is extremely easy to do. There we go. You guys coming through there. And are we not in robot range anymore? It appears that we are not. Uh, can we get that right there? And uh, that'll get all of that auto built. Um, let's see. That gives us one, two, three, four, five coming out. A big mess here. Uh, you're going to be in the right spot. You are going to want to come out and go down like that. Oh, still not going to fit. Um,. There we go. That one will give us uh, two inputs, uh, which is what we want for the first one, which is going to be uh, red, or which is going to be iron as well as copper. And uh, red network on the bottom. Red network on the top. And uh, green network on the top. Blueprint that as well. Sushi setup um, in with two. And, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll do two splitters there to remember that that's what that is. <laughs> uh, the icons never help me. Okay, so, um, all right, so that, that'll be the, that'll be the start of our, our sushi belt right there, uh, with that. Um, let's, uh, let's see. Let's, uh, let's cut that. And uh, is there a place we can store this where it'll be kind of out of the way? How about up here? That looks like a good spot for it. Put that there. And uh, let's see. We can cut the old mixer there. And uh, we'll put that up there. And uh, then we'll cut that. And uh, put it right up there. And uh, same with this in. And I know we have blueprints of them. Uh, that is fine. Oh, that was that was that was very incorrect. Uh, let's see. We can do a. Um, let's see. Control. Actually, let's just deconstruct that. Uh, control B will set that back, right? And uh, we had a big power pole in the way, uh, but it appears that that was not a load bearing power pole, so that is fine. Um, yeah. All right, um, let's pull out the old blueprint book now. And uh, we'll go ahead and break ground here on that by placing this little two-placer, or two-in two right here. 
Uh, we'll get uh, copper in one of these and iron in the other one. And uh, that'll be the start of our sushi setup. Fantastic. Uh, we have we have broken ground. Okay, and uh, yeah, then it's just going to be a matter of going down and putting down factories for all of these. So, for example, uh, let's get this on the bar here so we can have access to it. Um, so, our first machine going to be coming in is going to be a gear machine. And uh, we should be able to hook that up right oh those power poles are off uh, uh, I'll fix that in between episodes um, so that is going to be um, let's see gears and uh, science and uh, then we're going to need to make some circuits we are going to need one two three four five six of those uh, so that gets that and I tell you what I'm gonna go ahead and uh, take this machine and uh, put it right here for now because we'll worry about it further down the line because uh, these are actually um, these actually take one item and make two items. So that's anti-compression, uh, and we don't want that. Um, so we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And eight. So that gets us all the way to right here. Which is good. And... Um, then we're just going to keep continuing on uh, in that general direction. So um, our, our procedure here is going to be to set up the item. So that is going to be gears. Uh, we need to set that to gears. And uh, we need to copy and paste that all the way around. And see, I misclicked right there. And uh, that's why I was concerned about that. Gears. Gears. All right. That one should be good to go. Um, you are going to be red science. Uh, so we need to set red science. Two, three, four, five. And trust, but verify. Okay, and that one is set. And um, let's do, let's do like kind of an every other thing. Uh, let's do copper wire, copper wire, copper wire. And uh, then green circuits, green circuits, green circuits. And my hope is is that these machines will will suck up all that. We're not going to have like a lot of excess copper wire out on the lines. Um, and uh, you're going to be copper wire. Okay. And uh, as are you guys. As are you guys. Okay, and you guys are going to be green circuits. Oh boy. And uh, you know what? I, I just realized uh, we didn't put any... <laughs> we didn't put any uh, modules in any of these. But it would have been nice to have those in the blueprint. Um, fortunately, we really don't have that many modules right now. Um, we do have even distribution installed, though, so I'm not overly worried about it. All right, and uh, let's see. Are we not in robot range down here? Does it look like it? I would like to get that built, though, eventually. All right, so, um, yeah, and that's going to be our pattern just all the way around in a big, huge circle. And uh, we'll see how that ends up working out. Well, thank you very much for watching. I really appreciate it. Thank you very much for the feedback and the helpful tips and tricks. Uh, they are very, very much appreciated. And um, 
I think we can do it. I think I think it's gonna be I think it's not gonna be bad once we get it all set up and going. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. Have a good one.